Yo, what's going on, my people? Welcome back to the Lift Capital YouTube channel, where life is for the taking. It is the host himself, Ted Talk Money, coming back at you with another good crypto update. Guys, you know we care about you over here on this channel, okay? Since the beginning of this channel, we have told you guys we're about the future, okay? So if anything I say to you guys is useful, please hit us with the like and as well subscribe to this thing, all right? But I want to show you guys this one. The main thing I want you to know, use it or lose it. Unused money devalues. Unused talent diminishes. Unused potential decays. Unused machinery disintegrates integrates unused time dies unused knowledge becomes a burden what isn't used is abused the tragedy of life isn't the ultimate death but the resources that die within you when you are still alive use it or you will lose it okay don't forget that guys seriously seriously be of use be of use so look at this guys uh over in the uh, sec ripple case guys i want to show you guys this is this is a word cloud of all descriptions published on the court listener of the sec lawsuit look at this here okay of course you have judge that's big motion is big but look how big seal is huh look how big seal is you got letter yeah you know this is just basic court jargon but i want to show you guys that and look the most absurd thing is that the word seal appears 318 times on court listener but xrp only 19 times Huh? Only 19 times. So it's really important for you to see. I, I bring that to you to say, think about that. There's more things that have been sealed in this lawsuit than they've talked about the actual thing on on the case. You get what I mean? The actual thing. So looking at this, guys, you know, of course, we're excited to bring this to you. We have talked about everything on here, but let's look at the week that we have had. So uh, in regards to February 6th to February 12th, look at this XDC network stats, guys, the, the, the stats. OK, so just the stats. XDC Foundation kicked off the beta testing for community driven design feedback. That's on the site right there. Global ID. Huge news, guys. So two days later, then Global ID the biggest when it comes down to uh, decentralized identity solutions finally finally took a big step forward with integrating onto the xdc network so guys i need you to understand all the businesses all the institutions that are going to be coming onto our network it adds legitimacy they're preparing us for something guys and we'll we'll talk a little bit more so it's not just you know you you hear ted talking about sign i don't know if it's real no i'm going to show you a real breakdown so you can see what the heck we talk about over here xdc observatory i mean yo shout out to leeway hertz okay xdc foundation alliance with leeway hertz has launched the xdc observatory dap guys i want you to understand and please if you haven't known already okay the xdc observatory is one of the tools that has not been seen in any other crypto ever okay leeway hertz man i mean they're already there for doing breakthrough digital solutions already so they've worked with hershey they've worked with u.s army they've worked with nascar they've worked with a bunch of different fortune 500 companies and now they've they've graced us over on the xdc network with this observatory guys i'm telling you the analytics tools over there are bar none okay so we're already 4.0 but now we have transparency that is like no other network before so then right a, a few days later you know kinesis kinesis they partnered up with the XDC network, okay? So Kinesis Money, their whole thing is, you know, they uh, Kinesis Money partners with Zenfin and Ready's uh, cross-chain bridge to develop thriving digital asset ecosystem. They're talking about here, Kinesis, their assets are backed by gold and silver, okay? So this, the commodity, their asset, their, uh, their the custody of all those things, now they're going to be minting all of those tokens on our XRC20, making them XRC20. I believe they're com coming from... Uh, stellar they're they're a stellar a stellar to xdc bridge so yeah really exciting stuff guys i'm, I'm telling you guys we have gold and silver all in the xdc network so i know this kind of looks a little weird to you guys a little bit like okay ted what the heck am i looking at but this is really really important okay i want you guys to understand this whole breakdown is really how what we talk about here on this channel we're about showing you guys real world use cases with these digital assets so i want you to see the framework i want you to see the network of how exactly iso 222 interledger protocol family how they're actually going to be dealing in the real world so let's just take a dive take a look don't be intimidated here but looking at the beginning let's learn about the international port community systems association the ipcsa so the cloud within within this association within this community you have ISO, World Economic Forum, the World Bank Group, United Nations, UNECE, all of these different things, United Nations Economic Social Council, all of these big 
gosh, I mean, I don't even know what to call them. They're not monoliths. They're, I mean, not even juggernauts. I mean, huge, huge. Obviously, they like global entities i'll say that almost but you have that and obviously they have so much this is this is this is mass adoption you understand what i'm saying the nations the governments okay so you have all of these their communities right so you have the global and regional trade associations and organizations they're all a part of it in the eu commission okay so what we're talking about here is protect protect god the edi standard edi standing for the electronic data interchange okay that's going to be responsible for businesses electronically communicating with each other in regards to po's and invoices all right so they're they're making that guide okay that that guide for electronic data interchange also pcs is stand uh, stands for net of data connecting many uh systems of operating by a uh, varieties of organizations so if you see pcs that's what that stands for it's a net of data connecting all these different organizations at seaport airport and inland ports guys port authorities build maintain and operate these critical transactions and trade assets at the ports okay so again we're talking about dlt but we have real people that are dealing with this stuff real people that are making these transactions happen of course smart contracts are taking care of it and all that but i want you to see real global regional trade associations and organizations Again, it's not about your freshman party you went through yesterday and you found out something about Doge down with the banks. No, we're moving with the whales on this one, okay? This is what we're waiting for. When you hear people talking about interoperability, when you hear people talking about mass adoption, this is where it is. This is where it is. It's not about Elon Musk tweets. It's not about, you know, uh, uh, what's the next uh, a monkey coin or whatever. You get what I'm saying? This, this is where it's at. So moving forward over here so you guys can understand with all the news that you're hearing out from the XRP community, all the stuff you're hearing from the XRP army, it's real. News continues to come out from Ripple that they continue to link with these countries, okay? Google World Bridge Currency, okay? Looking at this picture, doesn't seem like XRP is actually going to be something like that. Do your own research, but just looking at this, guys, these connections are real. Ripple does has a, have a connection with the Netherlands Bank. They do have a connection with Project Jura and Dunbar. Okay, they do have a connection with the Bank of England, which sub, uh, which uh, substantially is a connection with the Fedwire. But we're talking more so European nations right here. You have Bank of France connecting with the BIS, which is automatically connecting with SWIFT and SEPA. Okay, so with that being said, you have that with Target 2. Guys, understand all these, all these are going to be going on to ISO 222. Okay, so you have to understand SEPA, Target 2, pretty much the European, uh, the EU uh, um, central banks, all of those, they're going to be coming on first. So I want you to see the interoperability between them. Stellar has its place here connected directly with the Ukrainian uh, National Bank. But you see already there, IBM is what's going to actually have Stellar be so important. I'm telling you guys, Stellar is, it's, it's going to be backed by silver, but it's not as fast as XRP. It's not as fast as XRP. So the reason why you actually have something that's going to be, why it's going to be important is because of IBM. Because of IBM, it's a network of networks. Hyperledger Fabric, R3 is already connected right there. You get what I'm saying? Uh, Stronghold, Hedera. See, that's why Hedera actually has ISO placed because of IBM. IBM wants to get its tentacles wrapped uh, with Hedera Hashgraph, which honestly, guys, uh, by the way, I really do feel like that's kind of the reason why you have a bit of stagnant price action with Hedera. I definitely think you should definitely see uh, much higher, especially with the governing council over on Hedera, but just saying. Really what I want you to see as you have more and more coins that are getting involved in this kind of involvement, they have to be heavily suppressed. They have to be because they have to get all these countries on board. Really, guys, this information I'm telling you about is not for me and you. It's for the countries. It's for the governments. It's for the uh, trading regulators. It's for the financial services and authorities. You get me? So to show you even more of a detail, look at this. So this is how they break down with fiat towards uh, with fiat towards the ISO system. So let's see how all of these are all going to be linking right here to the new ISO 222 standard. So let's start with Russia. For example, you have Russia, the Bank of Europe, uh, Bank of Russia, okay, already connected there with uh, BIS, connected with uh, BIS, the, the Bank of International Settlements, okay, the Basel III, this here Basel III, uh, guys, please do your research, but this was, this was almost as if the um, 
preamble to ISO 222. Once banks came over to the Basel III uh, standard, I do believe this is what allowed them to be able to custody natural resources for them to actually have gold uh, over onto their their coffers, if you will, or you know you have a bunch of a bunch of countries that are stacking up their gold right now and in, in the highest uh, amounts that they have in years. So. But just to look at this, guys, you have uh, right here the, the European C uh, Central Banks right there connected with SEPA. That's connected directly with SWIFT, of course, which is connected with CHIPS. CHIPS being the clearinghouse inter interbank payment system, which is connected directly with Fedwire. But look who's directly connected with the U.S. Ripple. Ripple. Huh? Ripple. And guys, I'm telling you, we don't go over stuff unless it's actually been proof tested. Okay. So everything I'm telling you guys is true. All right. These connections are real. All right. They are. Uh, well, Ted, why hasn't the price gone up? When will the price go up? Guys, we're waiting for adoption. Okay. Be patient. Believe. No. Tune into the channel. Do what you got to do. Keep your head up. But it's inevitable. Okay. Inevitable. If you really think people are just putting all these connections together and they think it's wrong. No. Bank of England. Look, look, do your research. They're connected with Ripple. You understand what I'm saying? Bank of Russia, BIS, all of them, guys, we swim with the whales, not against them. So to show you guys uh, uh, a bit more uh, about this right here, I want to show you uh, this is the original screenshot. So a lot of people were kind of wondering where exactly, you know, this uh, bubble image had come from. So uh, shout out to uh, Citizens of the Future Utility Theory. He is, I mean, man, on top of it with the ISO. Shout out to you, brother. So he had tweeted this one. Now, here's the original screenshot. Years ago, the Federal Reserve released that ISO 222 family ecosystem bubble pick on their site for a day before it got taken down. But luckily, someone got a screenshot of it. So shout out to that person who did get that because you, I mean, you... You, you shed so much light, so much light on it. <laughs> but look at this, guys. Uh, so this one here, this is the main one. I want I want to leave you with a little bit of real-time news, okay, so you can actually understand after you get off this video why the hell your portfolio ain't looking how you want it to look, okay? So right now, you have uh, Russia and Ukraine. As you guys know, there's a little bit of tension going on over there, but there is a bit of fear about retaliation of uh, cyber attacks. So yeah. So uh, the tension between Russia and Ukraine is always sky high, but this time a physical war could be flanking or replaced by a cyber war. Uh-oh. The fear is that in case of an invasion of Ukraine and retaliation by Europe and the United States, Russia could start cyber attacks directed to the U.S. and the EU banks. For this reason, the banks would be making tests to verify their security and the capacity to resist external threats. That the uh, hypothesis of cyber wars is complete is shown by the presidents. At the beginning of January, Ukrainian government sites were hit by a violent cyber attack. According to the Minister for Digital Transformations, Russia was behind this attack, as some evidence would confirm. Accusations were rejected by Moscow, of course. Uh, the attack affected 70 government sites, which before going offline carried a warning message that sounded more or less like prepare for the worst. OK, and while European institutions are struggling to build up walls made of cybersecurity, the United States says they are ready to give all their support with Russia officially replying that the West is suffering from Russophobia. If it was an attempt to tone it down, it definitely fell on deaf ears. <laughs> guys, so, yeah, don't fret. Don't fret. As you guys know, a lot of these quote unquote current events are all part of a narrative, as we all say, guys. Life is but a stage, and we're all actors. <laughs> but I appreciate you making it to this part of the video. If I said anything that was useful, please hit that like, smash that like button, and as well subscribe, because this is what we do. We're a, a a community over here. We stick together about this crypto thing, guys. We're looking forward to utility, okay? We can't lose. We can't be denied, okay? We're, t we're looking for mass adoption. I ain't looking for an Elon tweet, okay? <laughs> but I'll holler at y'all later. Peace. Mm -hmm.